Yo, what's up guys? Today I'll be reviewing the uh, UniPaint PX30 and since I have two markers I will be showing you a little marker mod trick towards the end of this video. Back in the day when graffiti branded products such as Grog and Crink and etc weren't, weren't a thing, these are one of the most popular markers that writers would use um, and it's, it's pretty much just because it's a permanent paint marker. So as you can see uh, this is the PX30 model which is uh, the chisel tip but they do come in some smaller sizes like bullet, bullet tips, I think they come in two or three different sizes and they also come in a range of different colours as well from silver, reds, yellows, I think there might be a blue as well and they're obviously produced by Uni. Um, now some of you might know, some of you might not know but Uni also produces Posca so essentially this Posca is Uni Paint's younger cousin essentially they're pretty much the same apart from uni paint is oil based while posca is water based and since because of how posca is water based it's a lot more popular because of it being non-toxic and uh, cheaper as a result and just more user friendly so therefore they have more colors and different sizes these like many markers of their kinds come with a felt nib and um, yeah these are just a felt chisel tip nib um, I'm pretty sure they're the same I don't know whether it's the same company that produces them or whether it's the same sort of materials but uh, the Montana Black range uses these chisels so does Posca obviously because it's uni and um, well, oh yeah Cleon markers do as well so uh, like I said it's a oil based oil based paint marker um, marks on anything oil base and similar to the alcohol markers since they're not water based you do need to shape them really well um, on every use just to make sure that they work so yeah guys I've just sh uh, shook the marker up for at least five minutes to make sure that it's properly shook up so it doesn't damage the nib or anything and the first test as always will be on paper so I'll just uh, prime the marker now yeah and as you can see that's it seeping through the nib just initial thoughts the paint is sinking into the paper and being absorbed by it and that's obviously um, a very common trait with any marker on paper since it's a common trait it it seems to work a lot like a lot like an ink marker, like I don't know, like a sharpie. Um, I think these markers are supposed to be glossy, but yeah, I mean, it's not streaking. I mean, obviously, well, even when you go past it, it doesn't really streak that bad. Um, the, the chisel tip's nice and sharp, obviously, when you once you've used it quite a lot though, it'll wear down. And um, yeah, it's just it's just decent so far. Um, nice, nice bold colour of lines. Um, yeah, it just seems to work on paper, uh, on paper okay really. So, next test will be cardboard. So far, very similar to the um, to the paper. Can't quite make out whether it's being absorbed more or less, though. Yeah, once um, when you first initially do a stroke, um, it seems to be less, but after a while the paint then sinks into the cardboard and then therefore resulting in some of the colour. I'll now be doing one on plastic. Now this is where the marker should shine really because with its oil base it's going to not sink into the plastic and will really be able to uh, see the finish and the quality, and the quality it gives. So. 
flows really nicely and it's really opaque and it's just genuinely just genuinely pretty thick paint I mean I don't know whether you can see on there but and all and also I've just noticed since because of the surface it's on uh, it also does have a glossy finish like I mentioned previously but with obviously the tip being a chisel tip you can get fine lines using the the uh, nib or you can get broad strokes using the entirety of the nib and you, you probably can't see this on the camera but that line I just did there was, was so thick such high covering paint and here we are guys final test being a sheet of glass Yeah, exactly the same as on plastic. It's thick, it's opaque as, honestly, this is so black. It flows so nicely. I mean, look, no no, no streaks at all. This marker is, is great, honestly. So in summary, this marker is just, like I keep saying to you guys, it's just great. It works on paper and on cardboard fine, but obviously due to how it's paper and cardboard, it sinks in, uh, the paper absorbs the ink. So you don't get that glossy finish and you don't get the uh, thickness of what you would normally get. But on non-porous surfaces such as plastic, uh, glass, and most probably metal, it's a thick line of paint, it's really opaque, also it's glossy. Now guys, like I said at the start of the video, that's the review section done. And now I'll be showing you how to mod uh, this marker if you wish. Now this isn't just restricted to this marker, this is this can be with any markers. But I've seen it done with a lot of markers that use the similar nib. So all you're really wanting to do is obviously have your marker and then have some sort of blade on you. What the mod essentially is, is if you have a chisel tip like we do you're essentially going to be turning uh, a chisel a chisel tip marker into a round tip marker and to do this all you're pretty much going to do is just use this bit which is you know you can quite clearly see it's round now all you essentially do is you get a, is you get your blade whether it's a stanley knife a razor blade whatever and you get your nib and then you just you just scuff up, um, you just scuff the end of your nib, nib up, doing it, cutting a, about three millimeters in depth into the nib. And then this then loosens up the fibers. Then once you've done that, just press down. Now I think that is pretty much done. However, if you wanted um, your felt to spread out more, all you need to do is cut down a bit further and then press down so then the felt spreads out more and then creating a, a wider circular nib, sort of similar to a mop tip nib, for example, or just a round tip marker. And we'll obviously make a round mark instead of a like, you know, chisel tip line. That then goes back into the marker. Now all I'll do for this is sh give this a good shake and then uh, I'll pump it up and show you guys. Yeah guys, so I've just given my marker a good shake and now I'm gonna pump it up with the flared nib in it, so. Now obviously because of the characteristics of the nib, you are most probably going to get a bit of streaks in the corners. You can see uh, when I'm going fast there is a few streaks so you're not going to have that not streaking quality as with the normal nib. Um, but yeah this is just a quick test on cardboard, 
I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry that it's uh, quite a long one again, but I am covering two things in one video. Yeah, go out and get yourself one of these markers. These are really good markers. Don't forget to like my videos, comment if you have any questions or any suggestions, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to me. So this has been um, UniPaint PX30 review with Hex Inkworks. See you later guys, peace.